For years, Pearl Dooley attended church every time the doors were open, but she hasn't been in some time. The last time that I went to church, it was Easter. The 81-year-old lifelong Tupelo resident is wheelchair-bound, but she couldn't leave her house because her front porch and ramp were rotting and decayed. But now Dooley will have a new deck and ramp at no cost to her thanks to World Changers. All oh, that means so much to me. It really do. They are beautiful children. They really do. They work real good. And God bless them and their family. Each of these teenagers and their team leaders spent about $250 to be part of this World Changers mission trip. They work seven or eight hours a day in the hot sun. Most students probably have not done construction like this unless they've done world changes in the past. Volunteers in this crew represent churches from Texas, North Carolina, and Louisiana. The young people say world changers helps them serve others, make lasting friendships, and also share the gospel. It's just amazing because we'll be walking down the street and people will just come up to us and want to know what we're doing here. So when we explain about it and explain that we're also here to spread the love of God and the word of him, they just want to know about all about it. Crew leader Eric White says being part of this ministry shows him that many young people want to make a positive impact in their world. And it renews my spirit in uh, these youth that they are uh, uh, following the Lord and uh, it lifts me up and helps me grow and it helps me with my uh, abilities to show and teach. And for many teenagers, a world changers trip is a marker in their journey of faith. World Changers is an awesome program and I hope that I can come here more years and help out. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.